Hello everybody and welcome back to the Banning of Isaac Repentance. We are back once more and in the previous episode we tried, we tried our hardest to uh, beat the boss again but we didn't quite even get through Dogma this time. But we're going to try once more, it's going to be our, our constant struggle and we're going to try as Lilith this time which I know sounds like a bit of an odd idea because Lilith is kind of a hard character but we've got this whole all character business going on and it would be interesting to unlock her. I'm really excited for this because this is... I'm noticing this dude has an empty post-it note. So I genuinely think there's going to be like a whole host of new stuff to do and maybe even new unlocks. I'm not 100% sure about the new unlocks, but I guess there'll be at least one for maybe beating, um, beating the witness or mother, should I say. One moment. But yeah, let's jump in as Lilith and try out a run. We haven't played as Lilith yet, so this will be fun. She is a bit weird, but she has been buffed. Ooh, an item already. She has been buffed. As you can see, her uh, box of uh, box of friends is now actually a three-room charge rather than four-room. And actually, I'm going to use it in here because this enemy is a nightmare. So having an item here is pretty great. Uh, if we can get a bomb for that, I would I would love to just jump in on that and see what it is. Uh, if we could get some spirit hearts as well, like a tinted drop or something, that'd be great too. We actually did really well on the last run for HP, up until we accidentally took nine lives. We were doing so well for HP, and then we took nine lives, and it just balked the whole run. Um, so, kind of lesson to be learned about taking unknown items, I guess. Uh, let's open this up. That was so worth it. Holy shit, we got so much from that. I swear that, I was kind of having a conversation with a few people on my Discord about the DLC. I swear that chests are better. Chests seem to be way more valuable. Uh, do you know when I was like, don't take unknown items, and I'm like, mm, unknown item, I'll take that. <laughs> no, I'm still going to take unknown items. I'm not, I'm no pussy, especially first floor. If we get something terrible, we can just restart. And anyways, I kind of want to get things that are usually terrible because they've mostly been buffed and changed. Like I've heard that the notched axe is now amazing. Like it can open like every door and like smash locks and use keys for free and all this sort of stuff and be used as a weapon. It's apparently amazing now. Can't wait to get it. Right, let's see. I mean, I'm sorry, Box of Friends, but Satanic Bible could be great. So I can't really say no. <laughs> Sadly, I can't really say no to this. Uh, Satanic Bible could be fantastic. Also, it means our boss will give us a deal with the devil, which could be also really, really useful. Uh, it does mean that we're going to be a little underpowered for a while here, though, because of just having Incubus. But then again, what if we just get another Incubus? Then we're then we're fine, right? Then we're fine. Satanic Bible right off the bat. Yes, please. I'm surprised Satanic Bible still shows up in um, in item rooms, considering how powerful it is. It seems like something that should only show up in the uh, Deal of the Devil, really. Because it's like I said, it's it's technically it's been nerfed and buffed. Because it's been nerfed in the way that you don't get boss items anymore, but it's been buffed in the way that um. Now you get to deal with the devil items. Like, as long as you have the HP, which, because of the, the book itself, you probably do, then you can get a lot more out of it. Um, I really I really do like the change. It's it's one of those ones where I'm like, at first I was like, that's crazy, why would they buff this item? But then I'm kind of like, actually, it at least makes it more interesting and it, and it adds a bit of gambling to the item itself. Okay, this actually should be pretty easy because these guys are going to chase and obviously this guy's lagging behind us, so... I'm hoping we get the item that turns Incubus into an orbital, the trinket that we had before. That'd be great. So, pass through you. Ooh, we have to we have to plant a bomb here and just see what happens, don't we? Nothing. Nothing happens. Blighted over him again. Again, another another one that's pretty good because of uh, Incubus chasing. I'm surprised I got hit there. That was kind of crazy. I wasn't expecting to get hit there at all. But yeah, as you can see, Incubus is basically just sitting inside this guy now. Oh, I fucked up here so bad. So we can't take that, otherwise we'll die because of how much we just got hit, which is a real shame because I would have loved to have taken that, but I guess we go. God damn it, as, as if I got hit twice towards the end there. I should have just stuck on the trajectory I was going on. It would have been fine. I would have taken that as well, 100%. 100% would have taken that. So we now know as well we don't need to go alt path. Telepills, why? God damn it. Yeah, we don't need to go alt path at all. It doesn't make any difference. So probably not going to if I don't have to. Oh. This is such a good run. 
but Incubus just sucks so hard. Like, I really, really wish with Lilith that just make Incubus follow her directly and act as tears. Like, I get that she has to maybe have a downside, I suppose, but it's like, no, maybe just don't give her a downside and then we'll be okay. Everyone will be happy and we'll, we'll all be fine. All we've got to do now is actually get a good run going in terms of our damage and items. So let's hope we can do that. Oh, we... Well, we just got 9-inch nails, which is great. 8-inch nails, even. But we just got the trinket I was talking about. Like, literally got the thing I was talking about exactly. That's so good. That is so, so good. So now, basically, this this treats Incubus like guillotine rather than being a, a little bitch boy. Which I, I don't actually know if it's better, especially in a room like this. This room's, this room's terrible for this. I just can't hit anything because of the rocks. Most rooms, it's going to be better, though, I think. I can't believe I was like, I'd love this trinket. And it's like, well, here's this trinket. There it is, sir. There it is. And we got a golden poop here as well. And nine inch nails, or eight inch nails, should I say. Really, really good. Yeah, the, the rotation orbit is a little bit jarring. Especially for areas like this. Locust of War. Uh, I am going to go and drop that in our uh, in our item room real quick because we need to do that for at least one trinket to unlock the alt. So why not do it with the trinket that we're not going to use? But yeah, getting a getting a pretty big damage upgrade off the bat and also this adds knockback too. Seems pretty good. Yeah, I'll have to sort of play around and see if I actually want to keep this or not because in my head it's it's it seems really really good, but like. Practically, it might not be great because it's going to make it a little harder to hit things. But then again, it's also already harder to hit things. So, I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, let's pop in here. Trinket Smelter. I don't think I want Trinket Smelter just because I don't want to keep this Trinket Smelter just in case I don't end up liking it. I want to at least fight a boss with it and see how it goes that, that way. See how that goes, and then I'll sort of see what I want to do after that. Okay, uh, baby bender. Wait a minute. Oh my god, baby bender works with this guy. I really wish I hadn't have just spent my money now because I'd love to smelt this. I did not know baby bender worked with this. That's amazing. Right, we need more money. Definitely taking Baby Bender for now because this is just free homing. I might I, I might bomb my donation machine if I get a bomb as well. If it if it needs must. This is incredible. Got ourselves a red heart there. There's one penny. Just give me another and I'll be happy. I don't know. M maybe I don't even want the other thing. Maybe I'll just keep it. I mean, I still wanna I still wanna um thingy keep this. Just going for our boss. I mean, we got a bomb as well, so we can always bomb the nurse Really, we got basically two of the same bosses in a row here. But yeah, this having Herming now is fantastic. That's essentially a free item. We just got Spoon Bender for, for free. I never really thought about how powerful Baby Bender would be on Incubus. I've never had it before, so I've never really it's never really occurred to me. Or oh, having the huge knockback on this guy is going to save us, I hope. Either that or it's going to be my demise. Go away, angry baby. Why are you so angry? Little baby, why are you so angry? We got Forget Me now. This is kind of annoying because we're getting really bad items. Oh my god, another really bad item. I should have not gone in here to try and get angel deals. I mean, I can still get angel deals, but it would have guaranteed that we get them. Okay. Um, Do we want to go to Downpour? I don't think so. Do I want to go and get that other trinket and smelt this one? Yes, I do. It's it's too worthwhile. Even if we find, even if we just do it to find another trinket later on, I still really want to do it. So let's go. I'll pick that one up and try it, but we'll see. Right. Sorry, donation machine, but you have to you have to go unless we get a fire uh, bomb out of this. Right. Pick that up, smelt that, pick that back up. Honestly, 15, 15 cent for a single smelt of permanent herming tears is fantastic. 
So we'll grab this and see how we see how we feel about this. Because I, th I think that now we have herming, we don't really have to worry about aiming. This is better. We'll see, though. We'll see. Still, I'm very, very happy with how this is going so far. I'm annoyed that our deal with the devils have been terrible, which is definitely the downside of the Titanic Bible. All, the, all it takes, though, is one good deal of the devil to make it all worthwhile. So that's that's the big that's the big get here. Nice. Extra money as well. Yeah, money's definitely way more abundant in uh, in Repentance, which is great because shops are worse. So it's good that you can actually utilize what you get of the shop. And it's also a little bit taunting because it's like, hey, you can't you can't spend all your money anymore. Lol. Even with restock, restock's way nerfed. Which I'm glad about. It was still really overpowered, so... They did a good job with that. Chest, extra key. Not that we needed it, but still very nice. I'll, I'll even open this, actually. Which turned out to not really be worth much to us, but hey ho. It gives us charges, though, so it means more black hearts. But that is not to be underestimated. It'd be really cool if we get, like, a better uh, spacebar item on the very last... Um, the very last floor, so that we can switch out this once we've got all the health we need from it. This is not doing as much damage as I thought. I kind of thought that um, 8-inch nails give a bigger damage up than it did. I was incorrect. Definitely new enemies in these rooms, though, which is cool. New variations. I like that. I like that a lot. Good, good. And there you go, now a half hat off. I love that door closing sound. It's so much better. I don't even remember what the sound, what it sounded like before. Like, it was that forgettable. And now it's, like, amazing. <laughs> I've not been to our item room this floor yet. But, yeah, health is health is great now. It's of little concern. Which is always nice when you don't have to worry about your HP too much. Okay, I'm going to try and stay back here. Oh, are you? I walked right into that. Absolutely walked right into it. This is a hard room. Yeah, I was just about to say, these guys puke and they, they can hit you really easily. That puke goes quite a long way. Good. I don't like not having mapping here. I would like mapping. Hierophon, oh my god. That's incredible. I probably should have actually just kept the Hierophant for later. But I suppose we're going to have to use a teleport card anyway, so we can't hold cards. Gimpy is great. Thank you. Potato Peeler really doesn't do much for us. Actually, no. I was going to say it'd be good to have a Potato Peeler because then we can maybe get a Meat Boy. But Meat Boys don't really shoot, so the Herming tier doesn't really matter. I was thinking, oh, the Herming will be great, but not really. Oh, my God. These enemies are tough. Oh my god. There's tears going cross, cardinal, di diagonal, all sorts of things. But yeah, this is this is already with just two items. Well, uh, one item, one trinket. Actually, yeah, two items, one trinket. It's already a very good run, so I'm happy with it. Extra bomb. Good thing is as well, if we get to max health, we don't have to use the tank Bible on the floor, because then we can try and get a normal boss item. It's, that's if we want it, though. We might not even want that. I would love to find our item room sometime soon. There's our boss room. That was a bad idea for you, sir. Uh, let's just go in and do this now. Hey, it's Bumbino. Bumbino's kind of a hard boss, though. we gotta be, we got to be prepared for this dude. He ain't easy. He likes to uh, destroy. He uh, he really likes to destroy. I'm really hoping he destroys some of these rocks over here because they're kind of annoying. That bomb did hit him for it. Come on, destroy some of these rocks for me, my dude. Oh, he's such a cool boss. Whoa, that swipe almost got me. Oh my god. New mechanics. New amazing dude. He did a fucking butt bomb at me. I love the little death animation as well. Oh, it's fantastic. Oh, my God. We've missed out on so many items this run because of Satanic Bible giving us fucking trash. Also, we did get item room. We got Gimpy. What am I on about? God damn it. There's so many good deal with the devils. And it's like, hey, here's some more trash. It's like, dude, I get that you're meant to be risk reward. And I get that I was saying you're overpowered. 
But right now, you are being a sucky fucky suck suck. Like, come on. Oh, hello. That was uh, a bit too close for comfort right there. Oh my god, Curse of Darkness. I, I literally cannot see these enemies at all. <laughs> come on, please, this time, give us an item that we can actually fucking take. Like Brimstone or something, maybe? How about Brimstone? Or maybe like Mum's Knife or maybe Brimstone? Come on, like any item that increases our DPS, please. Because we do not have good DPS. Like the pack would be great. Right about now. Not like the fucking Razor. Or fucking Forget Me Now. Like, come on now. Since when was Forget Me Now in the deal with the Devil Pool anyways? Stop being confused, boys. What the hell hit me then? It was you, wasn't it? Curse of Darkness. Oh my god. It's so difficult now. Curse of Darkness really, really does make visibility a lot harder. And I get that I could up my gamma, but I really want to play the game how it's intended for the visibility. I, I can still see, and it, it's still visible on YouTube where my character is. Come on, item room. Be stellar. Be amazing. Ball attire, not terrible. I wouldn't say amazing, but definitely not terrible. Right, I really, I'm just hoping that this deal with the devil is actually good. It, we need it to be good. Being able to slow enemies is really nice now. Okay, get you. I'm going to try without this trinket. I'm going to try without this trinket. This trinket's nice, but I feel like my aim is somewhat compromised. Because it, 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 it rotates a lot further out than I'd expect it to. Right, come on. Gurglings. That was a really good bomb. We hit both of them then. These guys will give us soul hearts as well, won't they? Indeed they will. A fame. I'll take it. Why not? Lil Delirium. Okay, this is getting kind of fantastic now. I'll do both of these. Nope. Okay, down we go. Depths one. We've only got what this is our last chance to get a good deal with the devil from our uh, from our boss. Otherwise, Satanic Bible has been overall terrible for us. But no, I suppose we've not missed out on too much because normally we just get health anyways. But Little Delirium here now also has Herming. I'd now love to get my Box of Friends back, actually. Box of Friends would be amazing right about now. We, we, we really, really need a damage up this floor. Like, really, really need one. Thank you for killing him so quickly. Because the thing is, Little Delirium's great, but not all of Little Delirium's forms actually, um, actually shoot. But it's not always going to be useful for that reason. But yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna keep using Satanic Bible and hope for really good deal of the devils. There are so many very, very good deal of the devils. We have to get one at some point, right? Right? <laughs> at least we're going to be going in with a ton of HP. Also, I think a Fame and more of the Void no longer produce Black Hearts. I think they just deal damage. So they've been kind of heavily, heavily nerfed. I, I don't know about um I don't know about a thing, but I know for a fact more of the void was changed. Which I don't really get. I'd, I'd rather them just like lower the chance for black hearts by a lot rather than completely remove it. Like it was definitely overpowered, but it was only because of the amount of black hearts you got, not because you got them. Like period. Good. Got our shop and our item room here, and we've got two keys as well, so can easily go to both. Come on, we need that fire rate or damage. Come on, item room. We now have a great run for Box of Friends, which is just a slap in the face, really. Oh, that's a bigger slap in the face. Yeah, this is we we can this is a run that can work, but it's gonna be slow going. We do we have okay damage, but not great. At least the homing makes it a lot better. A lot, lot better. Right, boss time. Let's go. Please, Lilith. Give me what I need. That's a lot of creep. That's a lot of creep. Holy hell. Yeah, this is definitely easier to control without that other trinket. Card. We'll take it. 
Oh, we need bombs. Oh, there's it. It's a full card. Anyway, I was going to say we need bombs to make sure we get our full card. And it's a full card anyway, so it doesn't matter. Big boss battle. Oh, Little Horn and, um, and Loki. Interesting. The Horny Twins, again, but different. Remixed. Definitely a hard fight, even in a big room like this. A theme, make sure we use it. Oh, we got a succubus. Wait, did we just get a succubus from um, from Cambion Conception from getting hit? Because if we did, that's amazing. I'm pretty sure we did. That's super good for us. Succubus is really, really good. If we get another incubus from that, that would be fantastic. Okay, good. These guys are going down. One of them's dead, I think. Just you left. You got your brethren. But yeah, this is this guy upside damage at DPS, which is good. Need to kill yourself on a fire. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Stop giving me stuff I can't fucking take. This has to have been the worst satanic bible in rep um, repentance so far. The best item we got was a theme. Are you kidding me? A theme? Oh my god, that's so sucky. I mean, at least we're still getting all the HP, and at least we still have a decently good run going. Definitely need some keys here. We don't need our bombs anymore, so I'm going to bomb and run through this and try and get some keys. There you go. Lovely. But yeah, having Succubus now does does um, make our damage a bit better, because if we're in the ring, we get damage, and while, while we're not in it, he passively damages enemies anyways, so... Pretty good. Got him. Lots of money here. We need... Give us money equals power right now. That'd be a good damage upgrade. Ow. Yeah, I'm wondering if Satanic Barbell's gonna do anything on the mum fight. Probably not, right? But yeah, biggest get that we have right now is we're gonna be entering with full HP. Guaranteed. And they're all black hearts as well, which means they do extra damage. Always a fourth hand. Yeah, things are dying quick enough. Just for the boss, this isn't really, like, top-tier damage. <laughs> okay, this is really good because we can knock these guys backwards. As you can see, like, when, when you hit them with this... Oh, while they're slowed, it doesn't work, apparently. There you go. Yeah, you, w when they're not slowed, you can knock them backwards with the uh, the nails and still hit them in the head because they kind of turn around as they get knocked back. Another key is very good for us. Don't accidentally open that key block. That'd be stupid. So basically, in my opinion, we should try and play for Cambion Conception and get try and get another Incubus or something. But that's a really risky play. We'd need like a charge baby to do that, I think. But what, what I am going to do is... Wait a minute. One. Two. If we've ever got excess health, we should take hits for um, Cambion Conception. Because every time we get hit, it increases our chance of getting a follow with our next hit. Honestly, this fucking game. Why? <laughs> I've got so much money. Let me spend it. Let me spend my money. Very frustrating. Did we ever go into the secret room? I don't remember seeing uh, seeing us go into that. We did. Okay. I just I just got the forgets. Okay, I, I want to go in here because there might be a charge baby in here. And if there is, we can uh, we can do some cool stuff. Come on, please, please, please. Damn it, there isn't. Fuck you. Just give me what I need, please, game. Give me what I need. Right, item room is our last hope for uh, a really, really good run. This is this is an okay run that could be made a lot better with like a single item. Oh, hello, poopy boy. The thing is, it's going to be smaller rooms. I don't know how Incubus, um, or Succubus, sorry, the, the, the one that's floating around the room, is going to work on the, the big boy fight if we get to that. I really don't. Good. Okay, we got it. I mean, it's poison. It's Serpent's Kiss. It's, it's the chance at getting health when we kill things. We really have a truly evil build here, don't we? Truly evil build. Right, let's go fight our boss. Remember, we got a fool card out as well. Don't forget that. 
That would be stupid if I forgot that. By the way, I found out uh, by reading the patch notes recently, they completely removed all small boss fight rooms. Like, they're all gone, which is just fantastic news, because they were all horrible. What, what baby is this? What? I don't even know who that is. Right, let's go. Ooh, one moment, one moment. Okay, I'm back. Let's do this. Let's mum fight. Hope we don't lose too much health in here, but we shouldn't. We've got a lot of damage here. I, I think my uh, my incubus just turned into um, turned into Super Meat Boy right as I went to fire. Not, not my incubus, my delirium. But yeah, I think we can probably get an extra Cambion Conception player out of this, and hopefully just gamble on getting a really good familiar. So I think we go for negative again. We check what we get in here. Two black hearts. Why the hell not? And we full card out. Right, we just want to go straight away, don't we? Let's go. Let's go. Oh my god. Let's try this out. Let's see if we can get something good to happen in here. So we left it, I think, basement two, the trinket. So that's where we need to find it again. That's where we need to find it again. Whoa, this guy's new. This guy's very new. He's like a four-headed dude. My god, that's awesome. Okay, that guy did his brimstone thing. I was expecting that. But luckily, we still have to tank Bible with us, so we're going to be able to generate health as we go. The poisoning things is actually really strong now as well, so that's good. Is this room not over? Oh, there's another one of these. Okay. I love these new portals. They look really cool. Yeah, apparently the normal portals now only spawn on the void floor as well. Some good changes. They're a really good job with all the changes here. Oh, hello. Uh, don't know where we're going here, because obviously this is the new floor. Soul heart there, which means we should probably try and hurt ourselves somewhere. Is there, I guess we just hurt ourselves on combat. Oh, wait, there's this. Got it. Yeah, we we wanna we wanna be trying to do that. It seems risky, and it probably is really risky because if we take a bunch of damage, we'd want that health lying lying in waits for us. But I think it's better because um, yeah, just the chance to get any familiar that shoots that has homing. There's a lot of familiars that could be really good. Little Brim would be fantastic. Another Incubus, another Succubus. Um, even a Fate's Reward would be really strong. There's a lot of stuff that could be very good for us. How do we get over to that? Can we not get over to that? I don't think we can. I don't really get how we uh, how we do this room. So now now is the time where I'd love that HP. No, it's okay. We got most of it back. There you go. Bring that back. Not had anything spawned yet, I don't think. Ow. Keep getting hit by bullshit. Check what our cards are. Hanged man, the fool. The fool is really good again because we can skip a floor. What? Was there a room up here? I didn't check. No, there isn't. Okay, so where the hell are we going? I'm getting very lost. Okay, apparently we didn't go in this room. I didn't realize that. Go, my little Gerdy Jr. My little slidey fella. Okay. Yeah, we've actually we've got a lot more damage than I than I kind of give myself credit for here. We're killing things very very quickly, like not uber quick, but pretty quick. Ugh, ugh. I, I really think I really think they should, they should change it. Uh, I guess we'll take that. I really think they should change it so that um not. Like both items can't be active on these uh, on these ones with the question marks. It's very annoying. Ah, oh, fuck! We're, we're taking damage here. No, we're not. Ho oh, ho! The dodge of the century. Hello, triple shot boy. That's pretty mean of you to be existing. Thank you for not. And there we go. We got it. Let's go. 
Let's go. Who'd have thought the good run that we had would be with this character? Oh, yeah, there's Mom's pad. So that, yeah, that, that definitely proves that if you leave things. Wow, that was a very quick floor. I think it's basement two that we left our, uh, our trinket on. So we don't have to worry about it much until basement two, to be honest. Don't get hit by random bullshit. Don't get hit by random bullshit and everything will be fine. That's a big Bernie. That's a big Bernie. Oh my god, I can't I can't get to these these fucking enemies the miles away. They're just all running off over there. Wait, where are they now? What fuck? Oh, it's here. Let's <laughs> get a proper loss then. Card, that is the sun. The sun actually tells you if you've been to the item room as well. I think we've made it into every item room, so we don't need to worry about going to them. We can actually use our fool card here to speed ourselves up a little bit. What does this do? No more spikes. Okay. Um, I guess we'll just fool out of the next floor. The nail's still here, but for shop prices. Interesting. That's kind of cool. The nail does still generate HP. One minute. I think I think the nail only gives you a half black heart, though. I don't think it gives you a full one anymore. No, let's just fool out of here. Skip some runes. Probably shouldn't actually do that. I probably should get my charges and take some damage and stuff. Yeah. These enemies are tough. Okay, these guys, obviously quite easy, especially with Succubus just destroying them all. Ooh, that's really good. We'll definitely take Vibrant Bulb. So we can leave our activate and charge when we're at full health. Oh, oh my god, I knew I was going to get hit there. That's a lot of bombs. That's a lot of bombs. Also, one of them bombs fell really slowly. There's the Razor. That's kind of cool that it changes it into shop prices afterwards. Right, just let me check my item rooms just in case. Now, I definitely left it I definitely left it basement too. I'm getting really like, ooh, what if I didn't? What if I didn't? <laughs> Even though I'm pretty definite I did. This thing has a lot of health. Yeah. Our damage, like, our stats-wise, we still kind of suck. This thing being in the middle like that seems uh, a little fucking crazy. Like, I don't know how we're not meant to get, not meant to die to the, the death attack. Uh, just, just get out of the room as quickly as we can. That's how. So now we're on. Ooh, what? I wonder what that would do down here. I'm pretty sure it's this floor that we, uh, that we left it on. We gotta go to our item room here. Play another one of these. We could get a good card. Go outside. Trust good people. You were born wrong. Wow, okay. Alright then. Look to Luna. Uh, ask again later. Okay, we're not getting anything out of this. I'm not going to stand here for ages. We don't need it. We've got, the, we've got full health. I just would have liked a little bit extra. Yeah, some of these rooms are definitely, like, predetermined. Like, this room's always there. There it is. We got it. The cracked key. So, at least if we don't defeat the boss, we'll at least get this. Okay, give us tinted um, small rock and I will pay you back greatly. Ah, still good, though, but... Hello, Gish. Yeah, Gish always shows up as well, doesn't he? The way his shadow moves now is different too. That was that was kind of crazy. It went like slowed down, then sped back up again. But as you can see, to like Gish, we're doing like fuck all damage. Normal enemies were doing great, but like Gish is taking a long time, which means that the boss might take forever. But the bosses do have boss armor, which means that it's not going to be much slower than it has been previously, because boss armor kind of makes everything feel like it's killing it at the same pace, so you don't get like really OP runs that just kill the game. What up, Plum? I'm really hoping we can keep our Vibrant Bulb buffs. Oh, there you go. Fruity Plum. 
Got an unlock for killing Plum. I'm guessing that's kill Plum like four or five times or something. What is that? Yera. Sadly, Yera doesn't do anything for us. I mean, we could duplicate the crack key and use it, but I'm not that bothered by that. Right, basement one. The conga line of flies is here. Yeah, I think so. I think so. I completely forgot we'd be able to grab this back again. Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Make sure we got the HP. Good. This, this, this could be it. Like, like, the fact that we just got that is very, very good. The only thing is, do we use it against Dogma or the normal boss? Probably the normal boss, right? Oh, we got this guy again. This guy always shows up, which is great. Right. Quickly destroy these poops and that guy. There you go. And just sit on this dude for a little bit. See if he gives us anything nice. We can get a HP upgrade out of this guy, so. We've got plenty of money, so why not? What you gonna give us, boy? He did give us a HP upgrade. Um, I mean, we can't restore any health anyway, so is that actually any better? I don't really think it is. Let's just not even take it. Like, why? Oh, that guy just died to a bomb or something? I think I got Bob's brain there. Right. We're, we're in home now. Remember to use our cracked key. Open our chest up. Mr. Dolly, definitely take that. Oh, it's a shame that it's in here, though. But still, the, the fire rate's great. An extra bomb. I've just noticed that this this is exactly like a one-to-one, a -one, so... Using the cracked key here. Whoa, he's fat. <laughs> Lilith be a bit chonky. Extra range. We got the Yes Mother transformation. Cool. wonder if that's changed at all. Right, so I'm assuming we should uh, not use it on Dogma and uh, try and use it on the big boss. Okay, here we go. Scary, scary, quite contrary. At least we know, we, we spent a bit of time in here so we know some of the, the attack patterns on this guy now. Yeah, that seems really hard to dodge if you're just in the wrong place. Same with this, actually. There's a few attacks here where it's just like, soz bro. You're not in the right place. Okay, we have a little brim for a while. Oh wait, we have a little brim now. We the 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 Succubus players worked out, I didn't realise we just have a little brim, that's not delirium. Which with herming is obviously fantastic. Okay, this attack I really don't know how best to dodge because I don't know where he comes in from. It seems like just move to the other side of the room is a pretty good way of doing it. Yep, there you go, you got me. And again, like, do you ever stop doing that attack, dude? Ah, this is so cool. I can't remember what this does. Oh, this is the light thing, isn't it? I have to say... We are, we are really not good off on damage. Our damage is not good at all. But that will improve. I This attack seems insane. It's so cool, but it seems insane to dodge. And it lasts forever. What the hell? I don't know. That attack, in my opinion, that attack's kind of BS. We got him. But that attack's kind of BS. We lost so much health to that right at the end there. Oh my god. We know what this is now. We can skip this. Right. Let's use this. We don't have a lot of HP here. I am not hopeful we'll beat him. But we can see. We know what's coming though at least. So we can hopefully get through it a bit easier. Okay. We got... We got you. Oh, you turned into the head. I forgot about that. Uh, 
Okay, you're dead. That's one without getting hit. Good. I can't remember what this guy did. Perming's definitely seems to help. Okay, so don't stand in the way of that. Holy Mantle? We had Holy Mantle, apparently, for some reason. Oh my god, I'm not liking the position I've put myself in here. Okay, good. I think he's dead. Yes, he is. Oh my god. We just got another charge for some reason. I do not know why. So this guy hit us a ton last time. Because, yeah, the, the bombs are in fucking sane. Okay, good. He did that in a very advantageous spot for us. We got him. Okay, health is looking okay. Death, I can't really remember at all. Okay, just keep moving, obviously. No, that hit me. No. It should not have hit me. Also, look at my fucking buddies that are just sitting down there. This was a hard bit. I remember this bit. So many heads. We got him. Sadly, no extra HP. We do get another charge, which is insane. I didn't know we'd be getting extra charges here, so our damage has definitely gone up. Okay, can't remember what this guy does at all. Okay, this is... um. Actually really shite because we have just too much on screen right now to focus on. At least our buddies don't follow us too closely anymore. And then he does he does it reverse with the fire. Okay. Here we got him. Oh the brimstone, I forgot about the brimstone. What now? We charged? Oh, did he hit me? Oh, we got him. We got him. Oh, shit. Next side. Next side. Oh, it's the same thing again. This is a lot harder this time, though. He's, he's like, knocked all his horns off, though, this time. Any fire this time? Oh, I think we got him. I think we got him. We did. Yes. We got him. And a white beam of light reached down into the earth, smiting the mother of harlots asunder and setting the blood lake to a boil. As the beast descended down into the lake of fire, Isaac ascended towards the crack in the sky, and as he flew, he could see echoes of his past before him. He saw his mother mourning the loss of her son. He saw his father leaving them without turning to say goodbye. He saw his mother sleeping and his father taking money from her purse. He heard the late night fights they had that kept him up at night and the guilt he felt for what he believed he was causing. He felt the pain in his stomach during those sleepless nights and saw his shadow in the closet waiting for him. As he rose, he felt his fears drop from his body, his shame, his worry pulled from his being. As he became lighter, his ascent became faster. He saw his one true companion alive and well. He saw his mother and father together again, holding each other. He felt his mother kissing him on the head after he had said his prayers, and the comfort in knowing someone was watching over him. He saw his own birth, and the faces of his parents filled with joy and optimism. And then... He saw nothing. Oh Are you God. sure this is how you want this story to end, Isaac? You're the one writing it. It doesn't have to end this way. Here. Oh, what's this? How about we tell it a different way? Maybe a happy ending? Okay, Daddy. Good. Are you getting sleepy yet? Yeah. Okay, so... <clears throat> 
Isaac and his parents lived in a small house on the top of a hill. Oh, what? That's kind of crazy. <laughs> It's a bedtime, the, the game is a bedtime story of Isaac's fucked up mind. That's insane. I did not expect that at all. My god, that was a great ending though. Very emotional. And yeah, insane. That was so cool. That boss was so hard. If we hadn't got all those extra charges, we wouldn't have won there. I'm so glad that it kept giving us charges. That's insane. But oh my god. That was mental. That ending was really cool. I was not expecting that at all. That is a that is a very interesting twist. I don't know what to feel about it yet. I'm still undecided how much I like that or not, but it's still a really cool ending nonetheless. Um it's pretty bold of Edmund to do that. Like that's that's kind of a kind of a no no in writing, and he just did it. <laughs> Uh, so that's kind of interesting. Oh. C-section has appeared in the basement. And uh, we got a little house on the hill now. And we have a completion mark as Lilith. As if we beat it as Lilith for the first time. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this. This was fucking amazing. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Oh wait, first of all. Fat Lilith. <laughs> Either way, we'll, we'll get back to that. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one.